video is working well today because sometimes these days I've been having some issues with it. So hello, hello, welcome everybody, welcome to day six. It's so crazy that we're already on day six of the 21 days of flow. Welcome Instagrammers, welcome Facebookers. Um, how are you guys doing? So if you're joining me, make sure you say hello. If you're watching the replay, say hello. Um, let me know who is joining me here today. I'm excited for today, happy Saturday. Today I wanna to talk about something that I have really been noticing a lot in my own journey, my own life, and with the clients I work this work with, and it's something that you know, in awareness of this, can really make a big, big difference for you. So you can start being in flow again. The goal of these twenty-one days is to help you get into the energy and mindset of flow, so you can, so you can really have that epic life and business that you truly love and desire. Like to really show you that your dreams can really be a reality. You know, I was talking to this girl on Instagram, actually, I don't know if she's here. Uh, we were chatting this morning and, and I, she actually had gone to my event. I did a live event in Panama City um, two days ago. Two days ago, time flies, I feel like it was yesterday. Two days ago, and I asked her, like, you know, what was your biggest takeaway? I love when you guys share with me, you know, I, I love when you share with me too, when I ask you guys here too, I always ask for a reason. And she said, wow, my biggest takeaway, she is that the age doesn't matter. And that's a huge takeaway. You know, when I started this business, I was only 23 years old. I'm still very young, right? But it's so powerful. Like, age was my biggest block, right? For me, it's like, why, how can I build a business if I'm so young, don't know anything, like, no, no wisdom, nothing, right? But it's really powerful. When you get through those limitations, what can happen, okay? So who's excited for today? Welcome, everybody. Hey, Tamar, Jocelyn, Nye, my love, Sen. It's been a while I haven't seen you here. Awesome. Hey guys. So today I want to share with you the number one stop to abundance. And guys, if we work on this and we clear this, you will shift and you'll see the flow happening right here, right now. Okay. And what is this? What's the number one stop to abundance? And let's actually play a game here. Who would like to guess what it is? I just, let's have some fun here today. Today's Saturday too. So let's have some fun here. So for those of you joining me on Instagram and on Facebook, what, what do you feel is that number one stop? What could be for you? What have you noticed it to be? Let me know in the chat. And you know, I'm always uh, curious. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, love. Hey, Carolina. Hey, guys. Our mind. Nice saying our mind. Yes, right? Yes and no, right? Our mind is very powerful. But that's not the one, one that I wanted to share with you today. Negativity. Elizabeth, getting close. Getting close. Uh, uh, negativity. Who else would like to share and guess here? Let's have some fun here today. So excited to have you too, my love. Okay. So the number one block to abundance, I want you to take this in that I've seen. I've seen this take people out of the game. I've seen someone fall, meaning like from making millions, from like really rocking their life and business, having this thing have like kind of like tumble them down. And I see this I say this with so much like love and openness because I've seen this, this, this block, this stop take me out of the game too. I've seen it all the time. And I'm going to be total trans, totally transparent with you guys, um, with you guys here too, because I see this, how it can really take me out of the game and it's taken me out of the game so many times. It's, I think it's also really powerful to acknowledge it, right? Because in an acknowledgement, we can, you know, move forward to release it and shift it. So what it is, is resentment. The number one stop of abundance is resentment. Now, what do I mean by resentment? You know those feelings when we have where it's like we resent something, we resent someone, things didn't go as planned. You know, that is what I mean by resentment. And here's the thing, resentment is kind of like, you know, like the river, you know, like, let's look at a river of water, you know, a river is flowing, water is flowing, but you know, for the what, what holds the river from flowing, right? The water is flowing, it seems like with our abundance, it flows naturally in our life. But in this river, if we have logs, like the like rocks holding it back, it won't be able to flow. And I've seen resentment be a very, very interesting stop in this river of abundance of ours, you know? You know, I had a client, and again, I have so many stories of this. Like, does this resonate, guys? This being the moment. And, and notice yourself. Maybe you're thinking here, maybe you're watching, you're like, oh, sure enough. I have no resentment. I'm good. And, and, and it's like, right, and you're singing with that even tone, right? Of course, there's something. I'm going to be honest, I still have some resentment. I am currently, right now, transparently, guys, I'm being very here, real and honest with you guys. I'm working on, you know, I'm literally working on right now. And yes, Elizabeth, I'm glad you're bringing it up because forgiveness is key to clearing this resentment 
so we can really experience this flow, right? Working myself, exactly, Zolka. Nine, forgiveness, exactly. Hey, Ashna, how are you? So I was working with a client once, and I noticed that she started accumulating this resentment with her partner, with her husband. And every day, like the husband used to do some small little things and she's not say anything, but then she used to come complain. And like this, this anger you start, was starting to build up, right? And I was noticing how this anger was like taking her out of the game. And one day I was like, you know what? We got to work this anger. And she's like, no, but this has nothing to do with money or business. And I'm like, this is all to do, right? Because if you are building your business with this anger inside, guess what? Like what you put out comes back, right? Like, like we got to make sure we're so clear and clean when it comes to building our lives. I think it, I think, no, it is really, really, really important. Um, and we did that, you know, she practiced some forgiveness work. It was really challenging for her. Cause here's the thing, when you have some grudge on something or someone or resentment or something on, or someone on something or someone, it is really hard to let go. Cause we want to hold on to that. But here's the interesting thing about this guys. The more we want to hold on to that, the more, guess what? It burns us right? It burns us and actually is doing us no good. So the best thing you can do is to let it go. And I know it's not the easiest thing to do or to, or to like even try to do, right? Especially when we're feeling it, right? Um, but it's so, so important. So I'm going to ask you as today, as, as day six of the 21 days of flow to think of someone or something that you might be resentful with, right? It could be a partner. It could be a friend. It could be a client. It could be an ex client. It could be a boss, an ex boss, um, take, and you know, if you want to go further with this exercise, make a whole list, right? And, and start writing down like all these things that you're feeling and start like forgiving one by one, one by one, one by one. And you will start noticing how you start shifting as well. And it's going to be so, so powerful. So let's see here. Um, Hey, Ashna, how are you? Hey guys, I'm glad it's helpful. Hey, awesome. So I would love for you guys to share real quick in the chat. What is your number one takeaway from today? What's your number one takeaway from today? What's your takeaway that you're going to be taking away today and you're actually going to be applying today? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. Um, I see Facebookers are more active here today this morning. Well, afternoon. Well, midday. Awesome, guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for day seven of the 21 Days of Flow. Have an awesome day, awesome weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Okay.